Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Congress frequently falls short of the will of we the people. We know this as representatives. We struggle to do our best, and rarely do we have an opportunity to set things right. I have worked for eight years on the Fairness Act, and tonight it comes to the floor for a vote. Tonight, we can repeal the unrighteous law. Tonight, men and women of this chamber, of this honored body, can, can recognize the significance of their signature, can honor their own signature, and cast a vote in support of H.R. 82. I have watched Congress after Congress after Congress as this bill has been skillfully and, and deviously killed in every Congress by one means or another. And always there's an echo through the chamber of, oh, well, there's a better bill pending, and we'll get it next Congress. There's a more conservative bill in the Senate. We can't pass this bill. It won't see the light of day in the Senate. Well, we shall shine the light of the American people upon this body and upon the Senate, and we demand a clean vote. This is why we have forced it, and by God, we shall get it. It is totally unrighteous to state that we can use seized and stolen money to address our ledger as a nation. We must stop the unrighteous theft. H.R. 82 has my full and vigorous support. It carries the signature of over 300 members of this people's house, and I expect its passage tonight. I yield. Mr. Speaker. Gentleman yields.